Seoul Tower is known for the beautiful view it offers, but also the locks of love because couples often go there and leave their locks. These couples leave their locks there to signify that not only will their love be known, but it will continue strong. There are many love notes that can be seen throughout the site as well. In Seoul, many couples are seen matching outfits and even hair. In couple culture, they often try to make it obvious that they are together. They don't want to seem different or stand out. Through these locks, one can see that Korea is a largely collective society. At this location, we visit the Mapo Bridge, also known as the Suicide Bridge. People often make an insignificant thing become significant. As humans, we make something out of nothing because it means something to us. This infamous bridge earned its name due to the high number of suicide that occurred there. The Mapo Bridge once had many last messages of those who passed on this bridge. For the families of, this, of the victims, this bridge has become a safe zone, providing them with the peace of knowing their loved ones' last words. The very feeling of the Mapo Bridge almost brings a sense of sadness and loneliness. Those who fell the victim might have not felt they belong. Here in Sin Sadon, society is heavily influenced by beauty standards. They admire K-pop idols and they hold themselves to those standards. They don't want to stand out because they will feel like they don't belong or not welcomed. Every clothing store that we pass was full of the same styles and the same colors. They want so badly to be the same that they do the extreme of plastic surgery. I have never seen so many plastic surgery clinics in one place before. It was culture shock for me. They even go to even the same hairstyle. Children learn their culture values through observation of their parents and their community. In this way, culture makes us who we are. Throughout our lives, we influence the culture around us and we also pass along our values to our children. In that sense, we influence culture. People are more easily influenced by certain individuals only on the surface layer of culture, which includes the way they dress, eat, and what they listen to. Throughout my observation here in South Korea, I've come to realize that Koreans try not to stand out. They want to feel like others, like they belong.